Once you're ready to use ePrescribing, you'll need to enable it under the Clinical tab of your User Preferences. This is where you'll be able to set a strong password required to use ePrescribing and provide your ERX sender ID. Once set up, you'll go to the clinical window for a patient and select the medication to prescribe and fill out all of the required details. Next, you'll need to find the new e-prescribing button with the pill and QR code. This is where you'll go to create an e-prescription for a patient. This button will only be active if this patient and medication has the necessary requirements in place to create a prescription. Clicking on this icon will trigger all the required checks and open the e-prescribing window which has the details of the medication you've chosen to prescribe. Here you'll be able to fill out additional details and do a final check of things such as dosage and repeats. When you scroll down, you'll see there are a few options to choose from for the creation of the e-prescription. Today, we're going to show you the SMS workflow. Once you fill out the patient's mobile phone number and confirm the details, you can create the e-prescription. This will send the QR code token in an SMS to the patient, who can then take that to their pharmacy for the prescription to be filled. When you need to, you'll be able to keep track of e-prescriptions in the script archive, and you'll be able to make changes, such as cancelling an e-prescription.